Aaron Dykes here for Nutritional Anarchy. Now, what's important in the news right now is something that's been going on for a while, California's severe water shortage. If the governor's warnings haven't scared you into shorter showers, how about this headline in the L.A. Times? California's water supply is disappearing faster than we thought. The disappointing wet California water from the federal government has literally run out for hundreds of farmers like Bharat Basadri. Of course, they had the drought going on throughout the last year. Very well could have been man-made. Of course, they've got a lot of problems with the fact that they never had proper water sources and were stealing it from other parts of California and borrowing it from other neighbors up the Colorado River. But what's important about California's water shortage, with NASA now saying they have less than a year of water and no contingency plan, is that something like 90 plus percent of the agriculture, of the produce that people eat, that they buy from the grocery store, comes from California. Now what that should tell everyone seeking the truth, everyone looking for a better way of life, is that we're horribly dependent on California for our food sources, very dangerously dependent on California. This should be a huge wake-up call to do what we really already should have been doing, which is moving towards more local produce, growing our own as much as possible. Let's build back the victory garden culture and put food back in our own yards and our own communities. Because if California falls because of the water crisis, if it turns out they're not exaggerating the dangers, if the food crops start to fall away, people are going to be hungry or they're going to be undernourished if they stop eating vegetables and just eat corn and soy crops grown in the Midwest with GMO and pesticides and everything else. Now what you're looking at here is a simple salad for today, but what I realized was I actually had no ingredients from California. I thought this red pepper that's store-bought organic would be, it's actually from Florida, it could have just as easily been from California. But the other stuff here is actually uh, on its way here. This is very tender, young cabbage leaves that grew out of my Napa cabbage. I'm going to use them in a salad. haven't tried it before, but it grew in my backyard, okay? Uh, but my dependency on California in this particular meal is not that high. The spinach comes from Texas <clears throat> from a source that's actually not organic, but they don't use pesticides, and they've got a good, re very good reputation for being responsible. They're well known to the co-op. They've got really some of the best spinach I've ever seen. Very lovely spinach raised in the San Antonio area of Texas, not from California, okay? And even these hemp parts that I sprinkle on the salad, they're from Canada and stuff like that. These sunflower sprouts were grown right here in this kitchen and these trays in coconut core and some worm castings and it took three or four days and this one tray raised enough for the salad topping you see here. But it really wouldn't cost more in dollars to raise more of these sunflowers. It would just take really more containers and counter space, which can all be rearranged, basically. But what I'm telling you is, right now, most people are dangerously, dangerously dependent on California and other parts of the food supply system. And we need to take control back into our own hands to make sure that our own families and our communities have food security. Because the government can't do it, the government won't do it, and quite possibly a huge disaster is upon us that the corporations won't be able to save us from either. We know they're going to implement drastic emergency conditions for the water supply, they're going to cut back on residents' use, and probably put new restrictions on the farmers. Frankly, we don't have a lot of control over how that goes down, certainly We'll be keeping an eye on it and let our voices be known. But personally, on an individual level, I want to urge all of you to think about ways you can raise some of your own food, any of it. And then more and more, if you can, exchange with your neighbors, find your local farmer's market, and get to know some other sources of food. Because what if, what if California failed you? What if the food supply that you're so dangerously dependent on were to let you down?